Let me share my reflection from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 21, verses 33 to 46. I was struck by verse 38. But when the tenant saw his son, they said to each other, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him and take his inheritance. Gripping like a gecko. In English ko lang, brothers, no? Tagalog, kapit toko. Now, I was wondering why this uh, Salawikain came about, no? I looked it up and found that a gecko or toko in Tagalog has a special characteristic no? in his toes that allows it to stick to the walls on the electron level. No? So parang electromagnet ang dating pag kumapit siya. No? Um, so meron palang particular reason why a gecko is the subject of this proverb, no? kapit toko. When we say kapit toko, we mean holding on tightly to something or someone that benefits us. No? When we talk about our source of living or family, of course, no? kapit toko tayo dyan. But this proverb also has a negative connotation. It means holding on to something selfish uh, for selfish reasons. No? I was reminded of this Salawika in when uh, reading the gospel. No? The tenants in the vineyard were kapit toko. Uh, on the harvest, hindi naman sa kanila lahat, no? To the point of, uh, you know, harassing and killing everyone that the owner sent to get his share of the harvest. I believe the Lord wants to remind me today, no? Not to hold on to the things uh, I possess today. Especially if they cause me to sin or be selfish or be greedy. A reminder that uh, all that I have are Only things that were entrusted to me as a steward. The Lord is the owner and I'm only the caretaker of all of this. The question today is, you know, what are the things that I cannot let go? Uh, cannot let go? Uh, nakapit toko pa rin ako. Tayo. No? What are the things that we can't let go? Nakapit toko tayo. We cannot let go that it leads us away from the Lord. May the Lord give us the grace to remember that uh, you know we cannot hold on to material things that we have. We do not need them to enter heaven. May we ac acquire things for the purpose of being able to share them with others. Amen.